it's Lisa Rana for Dollhouse Designs and I am finally back. It has been quite a few months since I've done a video and it's just because I have been busy and I lost my mojo for a little while and I just haven't had time or the creativity to do a video as well. But I'm happy to say I'm back in the swing of things and I'm excited to start up the Assemble List videos again so I'm glad you stuck it out and I hope you will enjoy my future videos as I hope to continue with them and be a little more up to date and do more of them often. So with that being said, hi all and thanks for coming back. And today I'm going to do a, something I call shabby simple card. I love the shabby chic style, but I'm not a collager. I'm not one to put a lot of stuff on cards. So I do it more in a graphic, clean and simple way. So I've started to do that a lot and I call it a shabby simple style. And I do that because I love these papers. Um, this is a new line, the Lost and Found 2 line from my mind's eye called Blush and they have these fabulous shabby chic designs um, but most of the time I don't have any idea how to make them look shabby so I use them in a clean and simple way. So today's card is going to be using the paper from here and then some new stamps from Unity. It's a new itty bitty um, with the co-brand authentic paper and I can't remember the name of this one I'm gonna have to put it up later but it's a cute dress form and the saying says share your smile so we're gonna be using those today and of course I'd have to start with a standard size card some craft cardstock from this is from Basil and then I have two strips of that paper again from that mind, my mind's eye and that's going to be the start of the base of our card. So let me grab a punch that I want. Okay, here is the, what is this called? Scallop Sentiment by Fiskers and I'm going to take this houndstooth pattern and punch that out. So now I want to line up the scallop top with this piece right here. So I'm just going to glue that down there. Next I'm going to do some sewing, so I'm going to have to disappear for a little bit. I'm just going to sew along this edge and then I have an idea. I think I'm going to do a couple zigzags up in this corner right here. I'll be right back. So I did some zigzagging across the top of this where the, the hound's tooth meets the floral. And then I also did some zigzagging along the edge here and I kind of wanted it a little messier than this but that didn't happen so or it's not kind of the effect that I really really wanted but it, it works out okay I'm okay with it so the next thing I want to do is some stamping so we're gonna set that aside a little bit and first I want to take this dress form and stamp on that first so I'm going to get out my black ink. And really I just want the bottom. It just helps me to place where my cutout one will go. And also I'm thinking of just popping this up so then I don't have to try and cut out that base. Oops, you can't even see. Let's see. Let me slide up here. There you go. So, um, if I, I think I'm going to cut out that dress form top, that way the base is already stamped and I don't have to try to paper 
piece that that out that's a little hard to cut out I haven't decided yet I might go ahead and just cut it out but I have options so that's stamped the next thing I want to stamp is the sentiment just clean this off real quick my baby wipe and now my sentiment I want to put on this teeny tiny little tag so I'm gonna pull out my stamp -a jig here and that will help me place this in the perfect spot Cute. so I just want it to go at the end of the tag here line that up and we are golden perfect so that's it just Actually, I have one more thing. I forgot that I needed the dress form. So we're just going to stamp that right there. Okay, and now I think I am just going to pop that up. So I'm just going to cut out the top portion of this stamped image here. I'm just going to leave the tiniest little bit of an edge. Okay, so now we are ready to just assemble everything. And I'm going to pop off this bottom portion here. Grab my pop dots here. Now I cut this just the tiniest bit smaller than my card so it'll create almost like a border. That's what I'm working on here. And next I want to go ahead and pop this up. I'll take my little ones here. One down here. I'm going to double up this one at the top. So that way when I put it on the card it will be even. that. Now I have a, a black button here that I wanted to put up here. Do that. So I tied some twine, baker's twine, into the center of that black button. Now I'm just going to take a large glue dot, put it over the back there for two reasons to hold the twine in place and then also to hold my tag and then I'm going to use a pop dot to pop that up The last thing, I'm going to round this corner over here because I have a lot going on in these four corners. There's a lot of activity and this kind of looks plain up here, so I'm just going to round that to help smooth it out. Okay, that does it for today's uh, Assemble This card. It's a shabby simple card, my new favorite style. And I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.